Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working out here in the barnyard. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a frost-free water hydrant installed inside of the barnyard fence so that we actually have access to water in the barnyard. Right now there is no water in the barn or the barnyard. And to be doing that, what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using a John Deere 2025 subcompact tractor with the backhoe attachment. So we'll be using this backhoe attachment to be able to trench our water line into the barnyard. So we don't have very far to go. Uh, the reason that being is our water line actually comes through here. It actually comes from over here. It comes over to where I am and it turns right here and it turns and goes back toward our house. So where this water line actually turns, we put a like a pit in the ground and we put we um, some valves in the ground here. So we have a valve that uh, takes water over to that house and then we have another valve that was a, a valve intended to take us to the barn. So basically where this turns right here, we put a T in here and the water line goes to the house and we have a valve just waiting for us to hook to and take it right over to the barn. So from where I'm standing, somewhere right in here, we just got to get over to that fence. So it's probably going to be um, probably less than 30 feet, 30 feet or less of trench to do. But the first thing we got to do is we got to find the pit with the valves in it. So it was short when we had it. It was too short and it ended up being below the ground level. And it's kind of in this dip. There's a dip right here. So we're going to dig it up and find the lid for it. And then this is an extension that goes on top of it. So once we can find the lid and get the lid off of this, this pit, this valve pit down here, we're going to put this extension on there and it will bring it up to the proper grade. It'll be right, so the lid is right here at ground level and it'll be always exposed and it'll be easier to find and get to later. But once we have done that, then we know where our water valve is and then we'll go ahead and just dig over here and under our fence and put us in a water hydrant. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we've got our valve pit, we've got it exposed now. And inside, it had silted in a little bit because it likes to fill up with groundwater. And you can see we got water wanting to go back in. But this right here, that is our valve right there. It is off right now and it's gonna go through a hole in the side over here, out toward the barn. Over here, we have our valve and it's going out that way toward our house. So it looks a little dirty in there because it was got a lot of mud in there. But we know where we're tying in at now, so we can probably go ahead and start trenching toward the barn.
So I've got the trench now. I've got it connected to the inside of the barnyard and I've got it dug deep enough uh, for the water hydrant. So the tricky part of this is, is um, trying to work around this fence and not damage it uh, and to dig under it. That was kind of tricky. I did have to move the tractor uh, away from the fence and then back toward the fence just to, to uh, get in the right positions to be able to reach under the fence and connect the trench. Um, I did snag the fence one time, so there's a little bent up section right in there. I uh, caught it with the tooth on the bucket. But uh, overall, uh, I think that's fixable. So now I think I need to go grab everything for the water hydrant, start putting the water hydrant and the, the water line together. We'll get this put in the hole and we start getting this covered back up. So I think in the meantime, I think I'm going to have to get the tractor back out of the barnyard because I can see these goats are eyeballing it. And before long, they'll be on the hood and all over this tractor. So I'm going to go ahead. If I start it back up, all the animals seem to go back in the barn. They don't like the loud tractor. I'll go ahead and get this started back up and move it out of the barnyard until we're ready to backfill just to keep the goats from climbing on it because this is not my tractor so I need to take care of it. So I've got my water hydrant, it's completely assembled. And uh, what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using just some black rolled pipe. It's just basically some rolled up plastic piping. It'll be one inch piping from the water valve out to the hydrant. And so let me explain why I put this together the way it is. One thing I, I use is I use galvanized pipe here just because it's going to the livestock and barn, barn, I think galvanized pipe will be fine. All my fittings going toward the house, I decided to use brass on my original install so everything heading toward the house is actually all brass but uh, we're going to just use galvanized pipe today so i came out with an elbow out of the bottom of the hydrant and instead of just hooking on with my rolled pipe here the reason i put a piece of galvanized pipe on there to extend it away farther before we hook up our rolled pipe the plastic pipe to it so the reason that being is because we're using a plastic barb fitting and I don't want uh, undue stress on this and this to break. So this is probably the weak link in the whole system. So every time you operate that handle, you're gonna move that handle up and down. Uh, it will stress this whole standpipe here, and this will flex in the ground and move in the ground, and we don't wanna break that plastic barb fitting. So we got it further away. So when this standpipe gets, the, you operate that handle, uh, it won't flex the barb fitting because it'll be five feet away. So that's why we put that on there. That's just to uh, for reliability so it'll help prevent us uh, breaking that barb fitting and getting a leak. Now my other thing that I use is I'm using, uh, you see I put a coupling on the end there. I'm using male threaded uh, plastic barb fittings. The reason that being I've had the female threaded that thread on the outside and that expands this plastic fitting and I've had them crack from them expanding and threading over a pipe. So I put this, I like to use a male fitting so it's fitting inside and it compresses this plastic uh, pipe rather than expand it. So that's the reason I'm using uh, a male threaded barb fitting. So now we're gonna go ahead, I need to get in the, I need to actually get in the pit and I need to hook up uh, a barb fitting inside the pit on the water valve. So I've got a, a barb fitting here and then the way you hook that black plastic pipe up is you just use these, uh, basically they're hose clamps. So we use two hose clamps uh, over the barb and tighten that, uh, tighten it down over that black rolled piping. And that's all there is to connecting that water line.
So when I installed the water hydrant, I ended up putting it in a five gallon bucket and filling that full of gravel. And that's to help the water hydrant drain because every time you turn that water hydrant off, all the water in the stand pipe will drain back to the ground. And that's how it's a, a frost free hydrant. There's no water in there to freeze when you turn it off. So that gravel is going to help that drain. I'm going to take some plastic. I'm going to wrap that around the top of the bucket to keep the dirt and the soil from mixing in with the rocks. And uh, I've got the water turned on now. Everything looks pretty good. I'm just making sure I don't have any leaks. And then I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start backfilling this and wrap it up. Well, I got done just in time. I can hear thunder off in the distance. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Uh, so I need to get everything cleaned up, get all the tools put away. I need to get that tractor on the trailer. I need to take that back to my dad. I do appreciate being able to borrow uh, that tractor. Um, help That saved me from having to rent a piece of equipment to be able to install this. So... This actually took way longer than I thought it was going to. Of course, that happens on every one of my projects. I always think that they're going to go better than they do. The roots was the killer the first day. Those roots just slowed everything down. And today it was getting the black pipe on the hose barb in on the valve. That was a bear right there. Um, that was a struggle. I almost just wanted to walk away and wait uh, and try it again later. But uh, I knew it was going to rain today, and if I would leave this pit open, it would have just filled full of water, and this clay would have held it, and it would have it would have just even been worse uh, if I wouldn't have got this done before the rain. But uh, I'm glad to have a hydrant here in the barnyard, so I'll be able to set a water trough up here later, over on this side, and and uh, have a water trough for the animals inside the barnyard. We can put. Uh, once this area back here is fenced in and we have that as pasture, we can put a water trough on this, the other side of the fence, outside the barnyard, and I can still use this hydrant to fill up both. I just need like a short piece of hose to be able to, to uh, you know, fill each trough with. But uh, also, you know, we can fill buckets and go fill the chicken waters. We can fill the goat waters. We probably had a couple hundred foot walk that we were carrying five gallon buckets. Uh, back and forth so this is this is way shorter my wife is going to very much appreciate having a hydrant right here in the barnyard so this isn't in the barn um, the barn floor is all concrete and everything like that I don't think there was a way for me to easily dig a water line into the barn so in the winter time we'll just have to use this uh, to fill up troughs and buckets and just have to use uh, you know like um, de-icers or, or uh, heated water buckets and stuff like that in the winter time. But uh, I'm glad this is done. I'm going to go get everything uh, cleaned up before the uh, it really starts raining. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.